I don't get a break. So I didn't think that they would actually start releasing uh, units. And then I go back to Twitter for some odd reason. Uh, will you be saving or spending? Like what? Saving what? Like I don't even understand the purpose of this question. So let's check out these new cards. Um, and it's funny. It's, it's like they're teamed up with Mobiletics. Like can I get the... Okay. Okay, they looks like they are. Looks like these are all the lovely cards. So let us let us indulge. Can I get biggie size? Can I go biggie size and then does left right work? Okay, left right does not work. <laughs> okay. So first up, hopefully uh, first of all like, comment, subscribe if you guys are interested. I'm trying to stay up to date with all this fun stuff. And it says Nexus Strike. It is a two drop from Ionia. Um, it sucks that this doesn't work, the biggie size. Uh, two drop from Ionia, and it is next try create a coin in hand. A coin are fast speed spells? Oh! <laughs> Jin! Ionia Jin, ladies and gentlemen. The first one says, recall an ally and create a coin, which is this thing, I'm assuming. Because uh, this is, no, this is, uh, okay, this is tag out. So coin is something different. But I see all these fast speed spells. So uh, recall ally and create a coin. So this is a coin. We create a coin in hand, or spend five minutes to recall an enemy and create a coin. So it's a two cost, or you can make a five cost. Interesting. Flexible spell, and that's just a different one. This is the five cost one. It's the two cost one. Still the same thing coming from tag out. We haven't seen what coin does yet. So then we have the bout security. When I'm summoned, create a fleeting bout security in hand and grant other bout security plus one plus one. And power at five, they get quick attack. So interesting concept because with this concept, you could a hundred percent. Okay, uh, open card. Ah, boo! You just multiply the security, baby. So are they making Samara Ionia? No, actually, no. This is set. This is definitely set. And this is uh, if you guys don't know, set runs like an underground tournament fighting thing. Samara's in the back though. Check it out. She's in the back. Um, interesting though. That would be weird if they made her Ionia though. That might be part of the lore that I'm not aware of. But this is very similar to the, the Handler, right? And uh, this is also very similar to uh, the dogs, right? The dogs are done a little bit differently. They get the faded proc for each one. But this allows you to spam them and create a uh, fleeting bout in, in hand. But each one gets another one. The crazy part, obviously, that most people are going to pay attention to is that it says when I'm summoned. So yeah, I could also see this as a beautiful, uh, <laughs> beautiful, ah, I'm sorry, we're gnarring you. One, it can come out of, it can randomly come out of the portals. I don't know why I can't think right now. It can come out of the portals and then two, I'm thinking of like a creation deck, right? Cause it's each one, let's say if Victor's leveled up on the field, each other one uh, that you keep playing will keep boosting the other ones up and it would also start to cost two costs. Uh, but it doesn't have an infinite cycle because they are fleeting, right? So unless you have a way to create more of them, which is also within its own region, Ionia, which is the Dawn and Dusk, right? That's the one that could do that. Or you can obviously bring it into the, I was about to say failure, but bring it into Shadow Isles and then you have the ability to soul cleave it and then it's on summon. Also, you have other ways like in the two regions I just mentioned to just copy it with the, the fading mirror, with a... Uh, iterative improvement so there's ways to kind of go a full-on bout security deck but of course none of the bonuses really do anything but other regions could also assist it with giving it um overwhelm as well so it, it's interesting it's the first card i feel like talking about in in length right so that is those cards then we have the smooth mixologist oh she's chicka 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 it up shake it up and then heal an ally or your nexus create a coin we still there's a lot of coin synergies here uh, Master Bing Win the Sieve, elusive, another elusive, five cost elusive. The next time you play a unit this round, summon an exact ephemeral copy of it, which is supposed to synergize with this. But this also is synergized with, with a lot. I actually think that this card is extra spice, that's why I got that purple on it. Uh, that is a strong card. That is a super strong card. Look at that, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm. Wait, what? Hold on play the next time you play a unit this round so it has to be cheap okay i'm sorry i got a little in and over my head but uh and you have to play it first for that effect to happen too okay it's not as good as i thought it was okay calm down calm down my boy i have to i have to relax but i was getting a little excited so that's yeah that's a good for ketting kind of thing right you play this and then you do that but there are ways like uh go go uh what is it go get it go get it 
whatever. There's a way to make him like you summon him back to the hand, you play him for zero, and then the next thing you play could you know you could do some type of play like that. Um, you could also get him off the portal, right? But the portal he has to be played, so you have to have a full board. So he's not as crazy as I thought he was. And five cost three three still elusive. So even more elusive for the or elusive deckness. Um, there are some crazy combos you can do like afterwards, but now that I read it, it's kind of crazy. Uh, sorry, it's not as crazy as I thought it was, unfortunately. Uh, then we have the Pit Professional. When I'm summoned, create a coin. So this coin, and then now we get to finally see Puff Cat Pedal. Um, now we finally get to see what is a coin. Coins, stack, refill, mana, one. So, obviously, coin stack, refill one. Does that mean like in a turn? Oh, but obviously that's a really easy way to keep flow activated. So we're looking at some uh, some flow initiative here, allowing you to kind of keep flow going. But do you actually put these cards in your deck? I mean, Pit Professional, you 100% do. It's a uh, literally a one, like the coin itself sacks itself. And I guess depending on how many you play, you keep getting mana back. You could do a, a bunch of spells, but that's only good for what, like the, the new gem card? Like, what, what reason do you need to spam spells in a turn? Uh, Ez could like it, but not like, you know. There's no way to do that, but like something like that, like obviously like the, the master big one here, spam, 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 right? You know, like you could uh, get, you get two coins because it's going to duplicate the pit professional. It's okay. So, so far, I think as far as it reveals, I, I thought Master Big Win, uh, Bing Win was going to be crazy, but he's actually not. Um, Ioni gets a little bit more heal with the Swoove Mixologist. The coin stuff is cool, and especially like something like here, the next stack. I, I, I want to see how that works, though. Coin stack. That also is good, I guess, like, like Heimerdinger? I don't freaking know. Uh, like Karma? It's just like, it's just keeping flow alive. So if you're running a flow centric deck, I could see that. I have to pee so bad. <laughs> but, oh yeah. Uh, the bout security is definitely the coolest thing because it's like a stacking thing. But at the most, they're just going to be big attacking, <laughs> big attacking quick attackers, I guess. Uh, but for three mana, and, and if you have the ability to play the extra copy based on whatever reasons that you might be able to do that, it seems like it could be kind of cool. I do like I, I like this. Uh, so recall uh, like like two man like the tag out actually is like kind of busted though. I think that this card is like actually really strong because it's a five mana bounce back for your enemy, two mana for yourself. Create a coin. Coin is like a, like I said a free boost. Flow keeps activated. So what is this telling us though? Like set is gonna be something with flow. Uh, makes sense that he has all these characters alongside him. So it looks like set's gonna be revealed first. And it means that he's going to have something to do with flow, uh, which I guess kind of makes sense with him. I, not what I would, would have predicted, um, just because of the fact, like, it just seems like a thing. But if this thing, like, these coins allow you to play this, let's say coin stack, right? So once you have at least three, play three coins, you could play a bunch of other stuff and then, like, use the, the coin, like, if you have one in the hand. And then with the coin, like refill your entire, like refill your entire spell mana and then do something else. It could cause like some weird infinite combos or something like that. I'm curious if it actually can do that. I'll be interested to see uh, if it can, can it, even not infinite, but like maybe like a certain type of loop. That would be pretty cool to see as well. What do you guys think about the cards? Which one are you most excited for? Definitely going to be about security. Tag out seems like it's going to be staple in a lot of decks in, uh, in Ionia. Uh, the master big win will be uh, is content creator bait, a hundred percent. Pit professional is just a solid three drop, a three 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 that summons a card that stacks, so that's good. And I also think that the attentive accountant is pretty good as well. Um, yeah, there, there could be some danger coming with these coin cards, but I'm hoping that it does have nothing to do technically with set outside of just keeping flow activated on a regular basis. Anywho, that's gonna be it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.